The information presented in this video is for high-level awareness only. This is not intended to serve as training. Stratus configuration remains under development. Any features shown in this video are subject to change. My name is Dawn Kessner and I am the Business Travel Administrator. This video will discuss creating a travel authorization in Stratus. From your home page under me, click on Expenses. On the left-hand column, Click on the crystal ball icon to give you the option to request an authorization. Upon entering the system for the first time, the home screen will be blank. However, as you can see from my home page, once you start entering request, you will see each request you create is displayed here. To start a new authorization, click request authorization. This screen will display the authorization header, again entering the information. For this example, the purpose of the trip is going to be basketball recruiting. I'm gonna pick the expense location, which is typically either in-state or out-of-state, and in this case, it's in-state, and the location is in Baltimore City. We're gonna enter the start date, and that is going to be January the 17th, and this is an overnight trip. So we're just going to go to the 18th. At this point, you are ready to estimate any expenses you think you will incur for this particular trip. Click the plus button, and here you're going to begin by entering the template, which is in state. Then you're going to pick the expense type, and we're going to choose parking. You're going to enter the amount, which will be $25. And for every authorization, one piece of documentation is required as to why you're going on the trip, which indicates the dates and where you're going. You can do an attachment by clicking on the plus sign. It's going to take you for you to browse any saved documents. You're going to go click on the item that you want to attach and then click OK, and your item has been attached. Then the chart field string is displayed and defaults to the current home department. However, by clicking on the icon next to the chart field, you do have the option to change the coding. At this point, you can add any additional information that is needed. You have a spot here that if you wanted to put some additional comments regarding the item or the expense, you may do so. When you are finished entering the estimated expense, you can choose save and close or create another expense. In this example, clicking save and close will take you back to the authorization header and you can list your estimated expenses. In this case right now, we only have one expense. However, if you had more expenses for this authorization, you would click the plus sign and start entering your additional expenses and follow the same process that I just showed you. You do have the option to save and close and come back later to finish. However, for this example, there's just one estimated expense. So I'm gonna submit the authorization for approval. Once you click Submit, the form is automatically routed to your supervisor for approval. Once approved by your supervisor, the authorization will be sent to the Business Travel Office for their approval. It will be notified by an email and also through the notification bell whether your authorization request was approved or denied. This is how you process an authorization in Stratus. For more information, please visit our website, towson.edu slash stratus.